Hey there, Kara from Karen Co Creative here. If you're new to me in the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites and all manner of online business systems. And of course, on YouTube, we focus mostly on the DIY. Today, I have a quick little tutorial to show you some things that you can do with WooCommerce in WordPress. You may be familiar with the plugin as something that you can use to create sort of a checkout process and to collect payments on your website to create sort of an online store. But you can also use it for affiliate links and to sort of create a curated page where you can sort of go to other, you know, if you want to keep content somewhere in your site that goes off to other sites like affiliate links. Um, I'll show you what that is. So take you over my shoulder into my own site. So see on my site, I have my Skillshare courses set up with WooCommerce. So of course, people aren't buying these Skillshare courses because um, they're signing up for a Skillshare membership. Um, but I have them here on my site in this sort of nice layout, which is created through WooCommerce as a WooCommerce store. Um, so you see, if you click on one of the, the um, courses here, it'll open up a little thing. And then you see here, I have view on Skillshare. So I can put my own description, my own everything here and view on Skillshare. This way, I'm sort of curating all of my content without just sending everybody directly to Skillshare. They're going to view all of those courses here on my site. You can do the same thing for affiliate products. So the way you set this up is if you go to your dashboard, I want to make sure you install WooCommerce. And it'll walk you through a few steps when you install it. You have to sort of set up an account. Um, but if we come and find WooCommerce over here in our products, whenever we add a product, so see this is my category, they're all Skillshare. You can do it things differently for affiliate products can have their own category or you can categorize them differently. But essentially when you go to add a product, so when you go to add a new product, you would enter in the test product. This description kind of um, misleadingly goes at the bottom of the product. So if I go back to my page, A little slow. I have to look into that. But if I go to the product page, I'll show you where that thing goes. All right. So essentially, this description, if you put it in there, it comes here. You can also put a description that's right up here by this button if you want to. So this box goes down here in description. And this box, product short description, would go right up here next to this. So you may, like for me, I might actually want to go back and put all of these in the product short description. Um, that's just so you know if you put it in why it's not showing up at the top. Um, and then what you need to do, so if you have a simple product, like one that you're gonna ship, keep it that way, um, or a very old product, that's one where you would have different sizes or different colors, or you see here we have an external or affiliate product. And so that's what you wanna select if you want the button to go somewhere else, and it gives you that option to change the button text if you want to. So the product URL would go here. If you're doing an affiliate link, you put your affiliate link here. If you're doing what I'm doing here, just to get stuff off to another site to share, you put whatever that link is. One thing I would suggest for affiliate links, I like to create pretty links for all of my affiliate links. So that's another plugin you can get. And when you do, so I'm gonna leave that. When you do a pretty link, it'll track the clicks. And that way it's sort of, you get, a, like you'll get the metrics from usually your affiliate product account that they'll usually track everything for you and show you the amount of clicks you've had. Um, but you can also track that by using the Pretty Links plugin. Even the free version will do that for you. And that way you can track it. So sometimes I've had this happen where an affiliate company that I am an affiliate for, they'll tell me I've only had like five or so sends. And I'll look at my dashboard here in Pretty Links and I'll be like, oh, I have way more than that. And then we can find some error in the link that's not tracking. So I just like to be able to have all these metrics in one place. I can see how much everyone's clicking on every single link. Um, but anyway, back to our products. The point is you would add in all your information. You can add your product image over here. And then all you need to do is select that. Nope, open that up. 
select that external affiliate product, do the link, do the button. You can also put in a price here. And when you publish it this way, that button's gonna turn them off somewhere else. So this is a really neat tool for those of you who have a lot of affiliate products that you want to be able to showcase as if it's your online store, but have them buy that product through the company that you're an affiliate for. So, sorry, it's a little bit of a rambly tutorial. Just wanna show you a bunch of different things you can do. I think these are neat um, tools, pretty links and WooCommerce um, to sort of showcase things that are on other sites that you want to keep housed in your main site, the way I do with my Skillshare courses or to curate affiliate products. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like it and you can always subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. All right, thank you so much.